Hi guys, welcome to our tutorial on how to pack a bag for D of E. When you're preparing for an exhibition, it's always good to make sure you've got everything and that you've packed correctly. Uh, so the first thing to do is to change the size of the height of the bag. And on many bags, it's a different mechanism. But this one, what we're doing is we're gonna move this so that the hip band, which is this part, sits just above your hips and that your shoulder band sits around your shoulders. So Harry's gonna show us how he's gonna do that for this bag. Okay, for this bag, we have a Velcro system. Had before, I've done already. We will move the Velcro and push the bag forwards. Then we're going to loosen this strap. We need some slack and pull the back brace up to the relevant height that is for you. Then tighten it up again so it stays nice and strong on there. I'm going to bring down the flap again and attach the Velcro back together. Now it's important that we get the rest of your bag adjusted. So first of all, you're going to want to do shoulder straps so that they're fitted correctly and stuck to your body. And it's always good to have a friend to help you out. So Harry here is just going to pull on your shoulder straps so his bag's now close to his body. Now the thing to watch out here is that your hip band rests just about here so it's comfortable kind of at the lower back. So Harry's now going to do his hip band. Clip that together. Just make sure you're bringing your bag towards you. Now what you should begin to see is a little gap here. Now unlike a school backpack where your bag kind of rests on your shoulders, when you've got a bit more weight you want to redistribute it around your back. This means that a lot of weight's here so you do have a small gap here. But now we're just going to tighten the top ones so that it brings the bag closer to him. And there we go. Finally he's got a little chest strap. This just redistributes the shoulder, um, the shoulder bands so that it's tight together, close to your body and your bag's properly weighted. Owen, what on earth are you wearing? What do you do? That's not an appropriate size backpack. Oh, it's yours? Yes, it is. It's a 60 litre bag which can store everything needed for D of E in my bag in suitable places between my tent, my trancher, all my food, and my clothing. So, this is a collection of some of the kit you'll need for D of E, uh, and we'll show you how to pack it into a bag shortly. So, first, we've got the tent and the trancher and gas, which is a group kit. So you won't need a tent each and you won't need a trancher and gas each because a few of you will be sleeping in the same tent and a few of you can share the same trancher. Both of those are provided by school. Then we've got a sleeping bag and a sleeping mat. Everyone will need one of both of those. Then we've got waterproofs. These are just waterproof trousers, but you'll need waterproof trousers and jacket uh, and maybe socks if you'd like or gloves also. Then moving around here, we've got food. You need food for every uh, meal of every day. Then you've got clothes, you need clothes that are right for the climate and a dry change as well. Then we've got sort of miscellaneous stuff, so cups, bowls, forks, spoons, knives, matches, things like that that you'll just, little bits and bobs that you'll need. And then water, which obviously you'll need plenty of water, so uh, you really need more than one camelback like this. Either you can have a big camelback or uh, a little camelback like this and a few bottles as well. So this is an example of how you might like to uh, pack your backpack. So you can see the basic principles are that you have the heavy stuff, i.e. your tent, cooking equipment, stuff like that, uh, in the middle of your back because that distributes the, distributes the weight as best it can. Uh, then you have stuff you will need sort of while you're out and about right at the top so you can grab it easily, i.e. food, a bit of snacks, uh, personal items, that includes your first aid kit. If you, just, you need to have your first aid kit on somewhere near the outside of your bag, so whether it's a side pocket or a top pocket, you need to be able to access it quickly. Uh, waterproofs as well, quite important. Um, I would suggest just putting them in the top of the, uh, the main pocket. Right, so we're now going to demonstrate packing this bag. 
Uh, so first of all, we're going to put the sleeping bag in the bottom. And now Harry's just going to push it so that it's uh, lying horizontally across the bottom of the bag. And next we're going to put in the sleeping mat. Uh, in our case we've got one of these self-inflating ones, uh, which we want to put on the inside because if you strap to the outside it's going to get popped by tree branches. Um, but if you've got one of the big foam roll-up ones then you can strap it to the outside of the bag. But really, if you have room, you should put it on the inside anyway. Uh, next we're going to put in the tent. Uh, we've just got the fly sheet and the pegs here because we've split it up between a few people. Uh, I'm going to give Harry a hand here because it's often good to have a friend's help. So next we're going to put in the uh, dry change of clothes. Uh, it's important you don't put that too close to the bottom or too close to the top because uh, you can get water leaking through. Really, ideally, you'd have either a, a bin bag, plastic bag, or a, a dry bag or a rucksack liner to put everything in to waterproof it. Uh, we don't have that at the moment, so uh, we're just going to make sure that it's not too close to the bottom or too close to the top. So uh, after that, we're going to put in the cooking equipment and food. Um, like I said, not everyone has to carry a tranger around because uh, a few people can use the same one. Um, but in this case, we're going to put it in the bag. And the uh, mug and the food as well. Let's get the mug. Uh, so now right in the top of the bag, we're going to put in the waterproofs. Nice and, nice and tight, I'm going to give Harry a hand to push it down. Uh, so as you can see, a lot of bags have this sort of extra bit at the top, um, which is really just to provide more volume, but if you can avoid using it, then don't, because it's going to make it a bigger bag, which is more unwieldy on the back. Uh, then right in the in the top pocket in this flap here, uh, this one's on the inside. Some bags have them on the outside. Some have both. Uh, we're going to put in any personal items, so uh, first aid kits, um, head torches, things like that, things that you might need to grab out quickly, or any snacks too. And then finally, just going to pop the uh, buckles and tighten it down as tight as you can. So, when you're packing, you're going to want to make sure you've got everything. So I'm just going to run through a couple of essentials and some things you might forget. So everybody on their DOV will need to take a first aid kit. This should contain you know, the normal stuff like antibacterial wipes, plasters, but also whilst on DOV it's important to bring some blister, blister plasters or blister tape, especially if your feet are known to blister quite a bit. Secondly, waterproofs. This involves waterproof trousers, waterproof coats, British weather tends to rain quite a bit. It's always good to stay dry. And finally, you want some emergency rations. So if you do get lost and you're out for quite a while, you will need around 500 calories worth of uh, uh, rations just so you, you, know, you can pick up and actually keep going. Uh, so this is good to take like a granola bar or an energy bar, maybe a couple of jelly babies, and that will do the purpose. So once you think you've got everything, uh, make a list of everything you might need to get, so you might still need to go get food and also there might be things like you, you might not have a good phone roll, you might need to go shopping. So when, you've, when you're packing your bag, when you're assembling all your kit together, make sure you write down a little list of everything else you need so that you're ready for your walk. Now your bag's packed, you're ready to start your expedition.